The purpose of this video is to help you understand mixed references. So we're going to create a times table here. The basic idea is we're going to create a range from 1 to 10, horizontally and vertically, and then the numbers in the middle here are going to be this cell times this cell. So first we're going to go ahead and create this series of 10 on the side. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to do equals the cell above plus, and we want to use a reference to this cell right here called vertical increment. Now when we do it for the first time, it works for the first cell, and as we change the number, this one changes as well. The problem though is as we pull it down, you're going to see that the reference gets broken. Instead of saying on this orange cell, instead it moves down. Similarly here, it moves down, moves down, moves down. So the way to fix that is we're going to make this cell right here fixed. So go back to our first, and I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the B and the 5. And that makes sure that the B5 reference will never change. A9 will change as I copy it down, but B5 stays the same. So I copy it down, and now my whole reference works perfectly. If I click on the last cell, I see it does the cell above this, plus the increment. And as I come here and change the increment to 2, or to 3, or to 5, you'll see that this series changes as well. Now I do the same thing horizontally. Equal the cell on the left, plus the horizontal increment, and I'm going to go ahead and add dollar signs as well. And now I'll copy it to the right. And as I change my value here, you see all of those change too. So I have all of these set up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and color them so it makes it a little bit more obvious as to what each one is doing. And then I'll go ahead and start on the middles. Now the interesting thing about the middle cells is that we need what's called a mixed reference. So let me do the first one. First one we're going to times that one, A9 times B19. So 1 times 1 equals 1, which is perfect. Now I copy it down, and we see the things break immediately. So let's, let's investigate. When I go to my second cell here, I see that the blue reference is fine, but the green reference has moved down, and it's in B20 now instead of B19, like I want it to be. So let's say I go ahead and make this one an absolute reference as well, and copy it down. Once I copy it down, it looks pretty good. The problem though is as I copy it right, let's see what happens. It doesn't look good. Let's try the second one here. To see the problem here with my green reference is that it's stuck on the first column, in other words, column B, instead of being free to move to column C. So what I really need to do here is I need to let the B change, but have this the 19 be fixed. So I go back to my first cell, and I'm going to remove the dollar sign by the B. Now B can move, but the 19 is going to stay put. So let me copy it down, make sure it works okay. Looks good. Let me copy it right. Okay, it doesn't exactly look perfect, but let's see. So this one was good. We see instead of B19 now, it's C19. D19, E19. So that's all great. But now we have another problem. You see the blue cell is moving. I want the blue cell to be over here and not to be the one on the left, meaning that I don't want it to change the column, in other words, D. So let's go back to the first cell. Let's say I make both of them fixed. I do this, I try copying it <coughs> over, looking pretty good. But now I copy it down, it doesn't work. And the reason why is that I've made it too fixed. I want the 9 to change to 10, 11, 12, 13. So I go back to my beginning and I would take off the dollar sign here. So now I have a formula where the A is fixed for the first and the 19 is fixed for the second. When I take this one cell, I'm going to copy it, draw a box, and paste. And now I have a perfect times table. Whenever I click here, you see that my blue cell is always over there, my green cell is always on the bottom, all the way to the very bottom or very corner. And as I change my original increments, all my values are now going to change. And now I've got a nice little tool for a times table.